I know many of you who are subscribing to my channel are experiencing ragtime for the first time, and I th I thought maybe that some of you may not quite understand what exactly ragtime is, because I know when I was first shown a demonstration of syncopated rhythms on drums, I didn't quite get it. I said, well, why, what makes that syncopated and not the other one? Um, so I thought a visual example uh, would would be much better and for someone to to notice exactly what makes ragtime. Now I'm going to use sheet music, but you don't have to be able to read sheet music in order to follow this. The main thing is to be seeing the order that the notes come in in, in relation to the high notes and versus the low notes and, uh, and reading them from left to right. So we're going to start with a we're going to do this with a tune that I'm sure you know, uh, which is a, a fragment from Johann Pachelbel's famous canon in D. Uh, if you don't recognize that by name, you'll, I'm sure you'll recognize it here when, when you hear it. So I, I'm sure you know that too. Now, many people, when they try to write a rag, or when they try to write something in ragtime, they actually don't get it right what they do is they'll do something like this. But this is not ragtime. I'm sure I get that on the screen. This is not ragtime. Now, why isn't that ragtime? Well, all that is is a march. And what, what, what I mean is, if you listen, if you look at the melody, and you hum the melody, all the notes that you accent are in line here with the downbeat to the upbeat, the um pa um pa of the bass. Da 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 da. So you know, say da da. These notes are all lined up, and that's the way all music was before ragtime came around, pretty much. Uh, ragtime introduced putting these accented notes between the downbeats and the upbeats, which had never been heard before. And that's, uh, that's hard for us to imagine because all popular music we hear today is a direct descendant of ragtime. All popular music today is, has syncopated melodies. And uh, it, it's hard for us to imagine what it must have been like to hear ragtime for the first time. So let's hear now this tune in ragtime. Another page over here. So here it is in ragtime, the same notes in the same order, but they're just played with, at different times. So you see, the norm originally was da 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 da. So this note da that used to stand, start here is now starting here. You see that's tied over. And the same thing here. This note was coming a little bit earlier. It's coming between the chord here and the bass note, between the upbeat and the downbeat. So that is ragtime. And it happens again over here. Instead of the note that was accented on the upbeat, it's coming just before da 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 da. da. So it's just before. That is what makes ragtime. A basic rag has a march baseline, but of course not all marches are ragtime. So it's that syncopated melody that had never been heard before. And it was, it was so shocking, I've read newspaper articles written in the day where doctors were concerned that ragtime was a public health hazard, that it would cause heart palpitations, these uneven rhythms, and it would mess with your brain and make you insane. Well, maybe it did make, make people insane. <laughs> and uh, I had another question recently. Somebody asked what a one-step is. Basically, ragtime is generally a two-step. Uh, it has, has, has to do with dancing, how many steps you do during the dance. But if you see it here, you notice the flow of the melody is twice as fast as the flow of the bass notes. This is all in 16th notes, or semi-quavers, whereas the left-hand part is in eighth notes, or quavers. In a one-step, it's evened out. The, the tempo is increased, 
but the speed of the melody is slowed down, and, and the, they'll both come out in, uh, in quavers or in eighth notes, as you'll see in this example. I don't think I can get the whole thing on the screen on the screen here, but here's the same that same syncopated version of the melody now done on a one step. That's what constitutes a one step there. Now, you may also hear us mention sometimes cakewalk rhythm. Cakewalk was very early ragtime, and cakewalks generally had one type of syncopation. And I have an example here of a cakewalk in, on paper, which is walking on the rainbow road. And you notice that the accented note is always this first one here. It's always right after the first beat. So that's accent a note coming between these two notes. Cakewalks generally only have that type of syncopation. They don't have the more advanced syncopations that you would get in, in ragtime. Unfortunately, most people's first experience with a music called Cakewalk is this one. Swipe C, Cakewalk, with Scott Joplin and Arthur Marshall, which really isn't a Cakewalk. <laughs> and that's what causes a lot of confusion. It does start with cakewalk rhythm. Whoops, that's not cakewalk rhythm there. So this has these sort of advanced syncopations that are associated with ragtime, or a rag, you know, because cakewalks are, are generally considered ragtime, but it's a type of ragtime. Uh, this was kind of this came out in 1900. So ragtime music, or rag, the term rag hadn't really caught on yet, but cakewalks are very popular. <laughs> 